This video is going to review how to classify matter. As we've discussed in class, matter can be described as something that has mass and takes up space. Matter, which is anything other than energy in our universe, except everything that's physically in our environment, can be broken up into two categories. One category is a pure substance. And the other is a mixture. Typically, a pure substance has a single identity. Meaning that it contains only one kind of matter, whereas a mixture contains different types of matter mixed together. So it's not just one type. Let's take a close look at pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances can be broken down into two more groups. One group are the elements, while the other being compounds. Both of them are pure substances. Elements are just one kind of atom. We see them on the periodic table of elements. Things like gold, hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon. These are elements. You can break it down into one single unit, the atom. And that atom has a specific name called an element. Comparing that to compounds, compounds are atoms that are bonded together. They can be uh, different kinds of elements put together. One that you may be familiar with is water, which is H2O, H standing for hydrogen, and oxygen is O. So it's a compound in which these two types of atoms are bonded together. You may also be familiar with salt, which is table salt, Na for sodium, and Cl for chlorine, for sodium chloride. That is also a compound. Note that there's more than one type of atom that is connected to each other in order to make a compound. So pure substances can be broken down into elements and compounds. Compounds might seem like a mixture because you're putting two things together. However, when you bond atoms together, you end up with one substance. Now let's look at mixtures. Just like pure substances, mixtures can be broken down into two groups. One type of mixture is a heterogeneous mixture. And the other is homogeneous. A heterogeneous mixture is one in which you can see individual parts. or the individual substances that make it up can be seen quite easily. A good example would be a pizza for a heterogeneous mixture. Another good example would be a milkshake that contains real fruit mixed and blended together. Uh, and so you can see the different parts that make up that mixture. So the opposite of heterogeneous mixture is a homogeneous mixture. A homogeneous mixture is one in which two or more substances are mixed together and you cannot tell one particular substance from another because it's all mixed together quite well. Um, a good example for a 
homogeneous mixture would be uh, Kool-Aid without ice in it. It has a similar appearance all throughout. Um, so that would be what a homogeneous mixture is. It's a mixture, but you can't tell individual substances. So you could say individual substances are hard to distinguish. So in quick review, matter can be broken down into two categories. It can be broken down into pure substances or a mixture. A pure substance could either be an element, as you would see on the periodic table of elements, or if those atoms are bonded together and there's two different types of atoms, we'd have a compound, such as we see in water and salt. Comparing pure substances to mixtures, mixtures, you have many substances, or at least two, mixed together, and Depending on how they mix together, you either see the individual substances, such as a pizza, as heterogeneous, or if it's like Kool-Aid and you see it as all as one type of substance, then it's homogeneous, even though it's still a mixture.